Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome to the Great Bridge of Prague. Well, I think it's Prague. No, Vienna. I got it wrong again. Oh my goodness me. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Uh, last episode, guys, we really did some expansions. We finally sorted out the double system on the line from Amsterdam all the way down to Lisbon. And we started to get up the run from Amsterdam right now. Double lanes all the way into Berlin, then all the way into Prague, then all the way into Vienna, and finally all the way into Budapest, which we need to continue the expansions, boys. As we're now going to head into Belgrade, to Sofia, and to Istanbul, to create what would then be classed as the biggest train line we have for our transportation company within Europe. It's going to be the biggest because it has two additional cities compared to the one from Amsterdam to Lisbon. Containing more cities means more passengers. It's also going to be set up on the plane route. So expect the plane route to be all up and running, hustling and bustling. And once you've got that line going, we can then look at airplanes as a future kind of form of transportation. I can then build my airport in the United Kingdom, which I'm so freaking excited about. If you guys have been enjoying Transport Fever 2 and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. Now, a lot of you guys were like saying, Saniac, yo, these bridges are damn ugly, boys, in the last episode. But I like it. It's nice to have a little bit of character, even if it is the world's worst thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life right now. But Vienna will thrive off this. It will build a hustle and bustling tourist community around these steel bridges. But, as things are rocking and rolling, guys, we need to continue the expansions. Now, we pretty much got our system all the way down to Budapest. Now, I know I've got to add in all the waypoints and signals eventually as we go on. We'll add that in before we even place one single train on the tracks. But from here, we're going to, to Belgrade. Now, before I get to these towns right now, because before... It's pretty much just been a straight run all the way down. Now as I get to these, I kind of also want to start thinking about how I can bring the other cities within it. So, uh, I was thinking, one of these three here, well I say one of these three, I say these two, Belgrade or Sofia right now, are going to be the connecting junction for Athens, uh, Tirana and uh, Bucharest to connect to. Now I don't know if it will be Sofia because it's just kind of surrounded by a mountain. That will be a huge pain for getting... Um, train to it so i think it might be belgrade meaning i need to make sure i've got extra stations and platforms for belgrade right now so i'm actually going to pause the game i'm going to delete a lot of belgrade right now because i need to set this up this is going to be a mega city i feel it in my fingers i feel it in my toes so I'm so sorry, Belgrad, that I've literally just destroyed all of you. But shut the front door. Shut the front door right now because what you're about to bear witness is the greatest thing since sliced bread. So a nice straight line, keeping that road honest. Because that is where and how I'm going to get everything all freaking connected right now, boy. So we'll go with that. Delete you back. Delete you back. I'm so sorry. Delete you. Delete you. I've literally destroyed Belgrade. But just bear with me on this, okay? Bear with me on this. So, passenger station, if I spin this right round, we want multiple tracks. And when I say multiple, we're going to add in four train tracks right now. Um, right. Right as close as there as I can possibly get it, because this will be more central to anywhere else that we've currently got. Boom. No, 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 nice. And then what I want to do is tools, not tools, signals, track construction. There we go. This is what your boy wanted. Actually, oh, no, wait, hold on. I've got, because it's got the staggered section. If I bring that to there, can I bring these connected to it? Hold on. i got to get all four together before I can create... My tunnel. Right, do it there. Do the exact same thing on this side right now. There we go. And then we're laughing all the way to the bank. So, track constructions. Uh, bring the left down to 70 yard because that's as short as I can get it with the slope. Number of tracks. We're going to go four. Um, start it on this side then. So, bam. 
spin it right round. Bam. There we go. Belgrade train station is all up and running. So I know I did a lot of destruction. It's the, probably the most of any city that I have completely destroyed. But it's for good reason. So a road going to crash just there. I got to bring a road a lot closer as well. So before I do that. Let me just quickly configure the station. And I think I'll do it with the side entrances. They're a bit too long. I know you can kind of get set up. Where is it? Is it miscellaneous? Yes, these. Now, these are treated as a much shorter connection, so I can really space it all out. So, if i got a road running down here. There we go. We can ultimately get super connected. Did you hear that, guys? Super connected right now. So, we'll do it like a little connection every so often. So, I think I'll do one here. And we'll do one there. There we go. I mean, I could do one here as well to get them even more super connected. Bring this down here. And I think at that point then, I'll just let Belgrade <laughs> get back to its former glory. But that's as much as I want to throw it in. <clears throat> so, I don't know why I chose to do four lanes going this way. But it's nice to have it there and not need it then to need it and not have it. But two lines are going straight to um, Sofia, then to Istanbul. Then the two lines on the either side of them, two inner lines, one's going to Bucharest and one's going all the way down to Tirana to, to and then down to Athens. That's literally how it's going to work. So from Budapest itself, we need to get the tracks all set up at those high speeds, boys. And we're using the inner lanes right now. So again, bringing it all the way, where I gotta go? Bring it all the way across, but making sure that I'm also lowering it because that is the problem we had before in the past. And I'm bringing this, and I'm going to make sure I do it on the right section as well. So, the... That's a good point. How have I done this? Because the cargo seems to be in the middle. Wait, how have I done this? Passenger, two passengers there. I feel like somewhere, somewhere along this, I've kind of messed these lanes up. And for some reason, we're, we're, we're pretty much running river free. So, passenger here, passenger on the, on the two rights. You get that, guys? The two rights. Right? So, apparently I can't build this. I don't think I've selected it right. There we go. And we just pretty much want this to all follow all the way around. And then connect up in the middle. We're on to a winner. I feel like somewhere along here it's kind of slightly messed up. So if it's the two rights here. Here it doesn't work. Because we have the cargo thing in the middle. It just means I'm going to have to kind of switch over into a different lane. That's not a problem. But I've just realized that kind of doesn't work in that sense. But i got bigger fish to fry right now. So in here, you just need a, a standard, a, a standard, -er, standard setup. Simples. Yeah. So train station, buildings, and we'll go with the shortest length so I can maximize this little bit of space that we have to play around with. We only need two lanes uh, in its entirety. So if I dropped you there, if I then configure this station, get those passenger buildings up and running, boy. Bam! From both sides. Nice. And it's just a case of getting the track constructions. Only need two lanes. Start from this side. Bam. Spin it right round. Bam. Too easy. It's too easy at this point. Try and make it more difficult for you, boy. No, actually, please don't, because I've had enough stress with this game. Right, going from here. So this is now connecting pretty much all the way down to here, but apparently the slope is too much. So if I try and keep it underground as much as possible... ...to here... ...and this... ...yeah, goes into that one. So this is pretty much just going to follow all the way around. 
no issues, so you don't require any tissues. And then Istanbul is going to be the end. Now, I could dig into it, but I feel like there's no need, because I feel like Istanbul is naturally got an engine, with the obviously the, the, the water border. So adding the end station here is going to be like London. It will then grow up this way, and might be go over there as well, slightly. But also the kind of the same as, um, whatchamacallit, what's it called? Amsterdam. It will do very similar to that as well. So if I drop this, say, here, and then the rest will be history. Trust me. If I know things, guys, then it's all going to be A-OK. -okay. So, getting this, or trying to at least get this over here, but it won't do that because of the slopes and whatnot. you got to kind of bring it down. Like this, and then that would then... What's going on with this? Is it really popping out? Oh, snap, it is. Okay. Okay, that's going to be kind of cool. We got a little bit of a... Uh, feature right now. We'll roll with it. So, Dan's are here. Beautiful. So, the bare minimum is now done. I'll set up the route, but I won't throw a train on it just yet. I'm just going to make sure that one weird station that I'm not 100% sure at the minute is going to be A-OK. -okay. So, right. Right, 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 right. I'm lost. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> so, lines then. New line. So, we're going from Amsterdam. And we're going straight down then into... Uh... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Cancel this. Because I already have a line set up. It is the Burr line. Where is it? It's tr it's. See, I, I need to rename these all over again. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. I keep I, honestly, guys, I just keep forgetting. So Amsterdam to Berlin. We're then going to add a station, which it goes all the way to Prague. Then we add another station, which it then goes to Vienna. Right, which again, I've got the issue straight away. Dead Budapest. Then to Belgrade. Then to Sofia. Then to Istanbul. And then it goes back to Sofia. Back to Belgrad. To Budapest. To Vienna. I just realized in Istanbul, it doesn't need to go into two. It only needs to go into one. So Budapest. Okay, back to Vienna. To Prague. To Berlin. And then it should Berlin start all the way again at Amsterdam. So. It messes up from Prague to Vienna. Now, I knew that was going to happen. Because it's actually going to a platform that doesn't quite work. So, Prague... So, hang on, hold on, hold on. Prague... It's here it happens then. So, it comes in to... Let me just kind of look at it. No, it should be okay. But it's then this line here, which would then technically be the third line. Third line comes in. Uh -huh, that's where it is. It's the third line because it actually comes to a, um, whatchamacallit, a cargo stop. So if I make it just simply crisscross here, and then back to the lines. So Prague to Vienna. That should work, yep. Yeah. And it goes to Budapest. So following down here. So a Budapest. Goes on that one. Right. And then we go down to then Belgrade. Which will be on number two. Okay, we get in there. We get in there. Then to Sofia. Which will be on the second one, so it will be on number one, right? Oh wait, I've jumped ahead, I've jumped ahead. Sofia, that one there. No, Belgrade. Hang on, I've messed it up again. <laughs> right, get back to Budapest. So, Budapest. Here we go. Oh wait, it's, hang on, is it on the wrong one? No, no, it's on the outer one. Oh, it's on the outer one. No, yeah, it's on the outer one at this point. Sorry guys, sorry, 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 sorry. So, Sofia... No, Belgrad. One. No. 
Prague, Budapest. Belgrad. Are we now on the second one? How has this happened? It shouldn't be. That follows all the way up to there. Okay. So we're in Belgrade. Then to Sofia next then. Which is just over here. I think that's where we're kind of messing up right now. Two. There we go. So Sofia, then we get to Istanbul. Now the problem is... I've got to make it come back in the same direction. So... If I make it, let's say, at this section just there, for it to do that, bear with me. So, Istanbul comes in at number two. Then to Sofia, I want it to switch lanes. So, Istanbul to Sofia. Yeah, I want it to get to there. There we go. So that should switch over. It's, I'm actually doing it now, guys. I've got it down. It, it's so hard to kind of concentrate. So this will be number three. Bam. So then Belgrade to Budapest. Which would be, looks like number five at Budapest. Well, one. It's technically one, but you know what? I need number five there. Then to Vienna. Which would be number two. No. Ah, yeah. I knew this is... The, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I figured it out. So it's actually got to get to Vienna. Number two. But it can't get to number two because it has to cross lanes all over again. So if I make it cross just here, that then works. Wonderful. I messed it up with Vienna. I knew something wasn't right. I knew something wasn't right, but it's okay. So then to Prague. No. Somehow we've managed to switch lanes, and I don't quite know how we've managed to do that. So now I've got to switch back. So how did I manage to switch lanes? I'm, I'm, I'm utilizing... Well, I can't see it right now. I'm so... I'm lost. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was completely lost then. Three lanes... So we get to Vienna, and I'm in Prague, so we're in the middle lane there, so we want to be going down here on the outer lane to this point, so we're on the outer lane that needs to be switched over, but it's not going to work because I need the inner lane, so I, I, I told you, guys, told you, messed it up, right, so let's start again, Berlin, and we can't get to the other side of the track, but the other side of the track... Oh, I haven't even configured Berlin to have two passenger lines. That's... See, that's why the whole thing is messed up. I haven't even told Berlin to have two passenger lines. It's just got one cargo line. Alright, get rid of you. So, uh, platform... That See, it's Berlin that's messed us up. That whole time, Berlin. You messed us up, boy. Passenger building. Can I go for a larger one? There we go. Get that connection. I knew something wasn't right. I, there was no, I didn't need to do what I did. So anyway, that should go on, on number two. Okay. On the first one. Which then means Prague at that point then needs to be on the other side. Which will be one. And then we're back in business. So then Prague down this side should be number two. Right. But Vienna. Oh, no. I've got to sort Vienna out as well. Because Vienna comes to here. Now, we're in the third lane. So at some point, we got to cross back in. Which I can do it just here. I mean, there's no need for me to do this because I can actually physically sort it out all correctly. But that's back in business. So that's two lanes going through here to Berlin. Two lanes... Going all the way down. And where does it stop? Just there. Okay. So that does what it needs to do. So I can actually put it back into play mode. 
and we shouldn't have any issues. Now, the only thing, I, before I add a second train on, because I forgot we already had a, an existing train. So before I had a second train on this route, I've got to sort out all the uh, signals and waypoints and all that kind of jazz. I mean, it should be pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to make sure multiple trains can make it all the way through. I've also got to make sure that all the, um, it's all upgraded to high-speed rail. So let me do that first, because that's more important. So there's a few little areas where it's not. There we go. It's mainly on these little tunnels. And then we can set up then a beautiful loop of trains, which will take a while to make money, because a lot of these towns that we've now got hooked up on it have never seen public transport in the whole history of me playing this map. So they don't really have any good infrastructure. It's like, they still won't be any good until I've like added in bus routes to each of the towns to bring people to the train station. So we've got we've still got a long way to go to making this super profitable, but we should be able to do it pretty quick. So we're in Belograd right now. Let's get all this finalized. Now, Belograd's got four, because eventually that's going in multiple directions. So where have I missed? All right, that's all done. So Sofia next, then only two over here. All done there, and then finally Istanbul. There was no need for me to do two lanes. But it is what it is. Oh, that's done then, so do I need to electrify it? I don't think I do, but I'll get it done anyway. No, I do need to do it, because if I get electric train, high-speed rail. I wish there was a button that says like do all. All rail that you all that you own. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness me, there's so much more I've still got to upgrade. Alright, there we go. All done. Alright, that's gotta be the last of it, right? We're in Prague. Berlin's done. Oh, just this little section here. Oh my goodness me. But I suppose eventually when I come to use all these other like rail lines and tunnels and stuff, it's all set up, right? So I ain't got to do it ever again. Right, is that all done? That's all now all done. Fingers crossed, that is it. That is us done at this point. So, before I get then... Uh, the next set of trains on and all that kind of jazz. I have to then put it doesn't need to be waypoints because they already know where they've got to go because the route's set for them but I gotta do signals and signals allow a train to move to the next stage as it's progressing. Now I can't do signals and see a waypoint which is kind of annoying and the thing is it's all on the ground. I can't tell which side it's on. So where is that train? Right, we'll start from the beginning. So, we're, we're over here. <laughs> and we're following the grey line. So, it splits at this point. We've got the uh, we got it all set up to where the signal comes in. So, the right lane is where it's going out. So, a signal tells it where it needs to go. So, if I dropped it there. Like that. And a waypoint tells them the direction that they travel in. So, we're not too worried about the uh, waypoint anyway. It's more the signals. So every so often, I put one down. Because as soon as a train passes one signal, the next train behind it can move up to that signal. And that is what allows us then to have this... Oh, snap. This beautiful system of multiple trains all on the same route. Yeah, I am doing it right. It's just a pain. And the more we do, the more efficient this line would be. And the closer trains can keep tooting along before the next one gets involved. This is going to happen a lot right now, me getting them set up on the wrong side. Bam, bam. Oh, we'll go. oh I've done it again. We'll do it in wider gaps. Now, 
There we go. Now we get to this point and we split into a... Oh no, we're still into a two. So we're still okay at this moment in time. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Now this is where we're going to be split into a, a three. So in reality, okay, we're still on that side here, so that's all good. Now, we split there, so now we're, we're either side, which I don't know why I've chose to do that. I think it's one of the other... I think it's, it's, the, it's the Vienna one, isn't it? That kind of messes us up. So, we're inner, inner and outer. Right, as long as I get... As long as I've kind of, I understand it, then we're okay. There's no other way we can potentially mess it up. But crazier things have happened. Right there to there. Right, we're almost getting there right now. So that's weirdly crossed over on a different track. But I think that's because... Is it set up on the old route or something? I don't know. But there we go. And now I can see this train skidding along. Now, is this still on the... This is now on the... The two sides. Oh, no! Makes no difference, but I don't want it in. There we go. Right, so where are we on this then? Okay, still the same system right now. We're almost there, guys. We're on the home stretch. So there's, there should only be two lanes anyway in, in, at this point. Should only be two lanes at this point, so shouldn't be any issues. Just double checking we're still going in the right direction. All this for this man. This is what happens when you kind of because the other one I kind of built it in stages, so it didn't feel as long-winded. But now we're building one from scratch. Feels super long-winded. Right, still doing it. And then all we got to do down here is then set up the. Um, The signals all over again as we then crisscross over. So the crisscross happens at this point here. So you want these guys to wait there. So they'll wait there before one comes in. And that's it. That's literally all you've got to do. I'll set up waypoints anyway to say, like, you know, that is that way. That is that way. But they're already set on that route, so they get the gist of it. Um, Right. I think we're ready to add some more trains on them. So we don't have any train depots nearby that link up to it. There's one there to Paris. So we're going to be adding in our own, well, a brand new train depot to say the least. Now, we do have a little bit of room over here. Where's it gone? Where the land comes in hot and heavy. So... If I place down some buildings then, and if I spin it right round to here, tracks, like that, so tools, all set up, so where's the current, where's the train currently on this route, it's just here, so Finance on this right now are going to be shocking because there's like no passions, or whatever. But I need to. This is line or this line. How do I manage the vehicle? Oh, manage vehicles on this line, and we are going to sell them because we're going to start from scratch. Brand new vehicles, trains. Let's get it going. So very expensive, but we need that high speed rail. So I can start with multiple units and go electric from the get-go and get one of these bad boys, but damn, they're expensive. But we got, we got, oh my god, I got 1.6 billion. Look at the loading speed though, times 24. When you get to one of these, looking weak, gotta go for those high speed boys. 
So should we go all out on this brand new one then? Times 24 loading speed. Right, we'll add. So, that has a capacity. Can I add any more to it? Wagons. Passenger. I can, but it then gets added at the end. But that doesn't matter though, because I can add more multiples of these. And that should be all good. So if I bought... 15. How much is that going to cost me? <laughs> it's going to leave me with a billion dollars left. Should I just go 10? Let's just go 10. No, I still feel like 15. No, we'll, we'll, we'll go 10. We'll go 10. So put them on that line. So if we go fasty forward mode now. Yeah, boy, tooting your horn. Now, I, I expect there to be an issue. I don't know why. I just kind of expect there to be some kind of an issue. But we're not going to get the full effect of multiple passengers. So don't get excited just yet, guys. Because each of these cities that this, this train line now passes through, I've got to go to each of these cities individually and add a bus route on them to collect everybody around to get them over to the train station. But this is going to be exciting. So there goes that train. There's a few people waiting here already anyway, but it'll take a while to do a couple of, like, uh, revelations of uh, this circuit to have trains on both sides of the tracks at all times. Amazing. Amazing. So we're interested to see how this kind of goes on as time goes on. But we now technically have a route from Amsterdam all the way to Istanbul with train lines. So, future projects, we'll have a line from Athens to uh, Tirana there, whatever, if that's how you pronounce it, to Belgrad, and that will end there, just collect everybody from there. From Bucharest, we'll go up to Belgrad as well, and I might even, if I've got room, I don't know if I've got the space, probably not, might make it end in Budapest just to kind of add that additional line, but probably not, probably not. But the airport is up and running. Now, again, even though this is within reaching distance and they can walk it, we still need to get the bus route to collect everybody up to bring them to the airport. But you can see that there's quite a few people waiting already. More than what a single plane can currently hold. So it shows that the airplane routes are going to be looking pretty juicy very, very soon. So, yeah. Very interesting to see how this kind of um, continues. Now, we haven't had our first train yet arrive in Berlin of the new set of trains. I wonder how far away they are. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. So it's almost at full capacity because that's the first train that would have gone through the whole route. So would it make any money at all here? Or is it all going straight to Amsterdam? So it made a little bit of cash. Can't really pick up the full shebang of people. But there comes the next train right now. Got the signals all beautiful. And that'll drop a full load off in Amsterdam. And the line here, there's nearly 400 waiting. So, you know when I said, like, 15's a bit too much? And I only put 10 trains on. I feel like I still need way more than that. Look how weak that train looks now compared to our new one coming in hot and heavy. Right, where is it? There it is. Coming in right now, doing some serious speed, boys. Some serious speed. Here we go. How much does it make? Six point... Wow! That's a lot of cash, though. So, not saying it's going to make serious... Look, look at my expenses now. But I say, not saying it's going to make serious cash right now, but I've almost equaled our highest ever revenue on the last one. So the train had to stop there, wait for that train to come through, but then that one now comes in. So as this one now arrives, I'm about to have my best ever year for this train line. Look at that. But I'm having my worst ever year in expenses. There's a train waiting there anyway for that next train to head out. So completely filled up. So as that one's now waiting, there's another one coming in that will now wait behind for this one. And eventually they'll be nicely evened out as time goes on. They will be nicely evened out. Now on that whole line, finances. Again, big cash coming in. Nice. 
but there's not, not many more people waiting right now. So I could add more trains. I could just let them do with these 10 and see how things tick along. There's people waiting in both directions, but I won't know the full effects and what I need to do or how many more I need to add on until truly I've got all the bus routes added for each of these little towns. But we're finally connected through Eastern Europe, which is freaking amazing right now. It's freaking amazing. Is there still a lot of people waiting over here? A hundred people waiting, so I need some more planes on that route. So next episode, then, we'll get all the bus routes set up to each of the towns. And I'll also implement the airport in the United Kingdom as well. Now, I think what I'm going to eventually do is squeeze it... It's it, probably going to go here. That's where I've got the most little bit of space on the edge of London. Um, I could throw it in over on this side. Um, tough one, isn't it? It is a tough one, but we'll figure it out. Because I definitely want London to still thrive. So if I check out the cities right now. Because all them cities I've had on that train line, then they're going to go for a huge boost. So... Madrid has now fourth place. I, I always thought Madrid was going to be a, a huge um, superpower. But I think Berlin's going to now have another skyrocket as I've extended that line. Paris is doing pretty good. Paris is catching up to London. And Paris has nothing apart from a bus route and a, a train line. That's how you know we got to open up London. To more stuff. What does this mean here? Uh, stations. It says good. I'm going to upgrade the station or something. I think I might have to upgrade the trains. To be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, I could always reposition the train. I can move the station further up. So we got more space for building work and all that kind of jazz. I could reclaim a little bit more land. We'll see how that goes. But Amsterdam is still the number one city either way. Line 3, which that line there, see I've got to upgrade this line right now, going away to there. I've only got one train on it. So why don't I just kind of um, replace this. So replace it, I'll replace it with a diesel train just because I have no electricity set up for that line. Uh, passenger cargo, we'll throw these on. So we've got 10 of those on the last one. So if I add the capacity up to there, I know it's ridiculous. Add another diesel train on it. But just so we can carry more people all at once. Now there's that train. Almost got four people on board. Completely wiped out everybody that was waiting right there. So that's kind of like a big help. So yeah, we'll just see how things now go. So when you take a look at like Belgrade, the, the, the city that I literally destroyed, um, it dipped down vastly. I'm giving it a little bit of time right now for it to eventually start building back up. Safria right now. Charts skyrocketing. Um, Istanbul starting to skyrocket as well. Now Budapest, which has been on a steady growth because we've always had an airport. Skyrocketing. Vienna. We destroyed this place as well. But again, it's on the comeback. Do you know what? Belgrade's not really on the comeback, is it? I might have to give it a little bit more time to see how it ticks along. Uh, Prague. Growing. Berlin. Steady climb, but that's always had a passenger line tearing through it. Um, Hamburg's not a part of it. Amsterdam charts, again, growing even more right now. Just down to the fact that we've got more stuff going on and connecting to it. Look at the skyscrapers in uh, Amsterdam. It's beautiful. But guys, I think we're going to end it for here anyway. We've set up that huge line. Lots of passengers now skedaddling and going to where they need to get to. Uh, let me check this line right now then so finances so we're not quite we, we can see where we bought them out on how much expenses It's costing us over 60 million a year to run the previous year we generated 37 million so we're only nearly 20 well say 25 million off from breaking even in revenue now once i get more people to the stations that's going to change a lot of things for us but as the uh, these sounds and cities just kind of keep growing as the time years go on that'll bring a lot of people over here as well so we got a lot of good stuff coming for us a lot of good stuff coming for us right now it's just about getting everything connected and these satellite towns around us to get it, you know connect to Belgrade that will continue to grow 
So I'm a little bit worried about better grad, but it shouldn't be too bad. We should see some turnaround eventually. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good bye.